Thank you for that selection. I am pleased now to introduce our class salutatorian, Andrew Smythe. Good morning. I'd like to start by thanking Ms. Coelho, Mr. Chaplot, uh, Mr. Rowetter, Dr. Roy, Ms. Meckler, members of the board, and, esteemed, and the esteemed faculty for their support and generosity today and these last four years. Parents, grandparents, estranged uncles who showed up unexpectedly, uh, thank you as well for assembling here in celebration of the class of 2012. A group of people who I am very lucky to call my friends and classmates, and alongside whom I've had the pleasure to grow up. We have come into adulthood in the background of dramatic and exciting global change. In our lifetime alone, the internet has changed the way humans communicate with one another. America elected its first African-American president. Last spring, people clicking away on their laptops and cell phones started populist revolutions in Tunisia, Egypt, and Yemen. Technology, globalization, and social entrepreneurship, it's all good stuff, and it's a fascinating time in which to live and to learn. But make no mistake, there are also great challenges to health, security, and prosperity that our generation will have to face. Confronted by a world which is too unstable, too unequal, and completely unsustainable, it's easy to be overwhelmed. It's easy to be apathetic, lazy, or satisfied with the way things are. Who are we to change anything? Wouldn't it be more comfortable, cozier even, to curl up in the basement with a tub of ice cream, watch three seasons of Game of Thrones, and call it a day? Speaking from experience, yes, it would. <laughs> but we are so much more than that. We are the class of 2012. We are smart, reasonably good-looking, and fully capable of meeting the demands of this 21st century. To what do we owe this preparedness? Our generation was raised on Harry Potter, nursed by Game Boy, and serenaded to sleep by the Backstreet Boys. We snuggled with Furbies, ate breakfast with rocket power, and spent our adolescence giggling on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. We will inherit the free world, and these early, slightly kitschy foundations will have no small part in what it will become. Some of us will study poetry, medicine, and law, or nobler professions like cat breeding. No matter our passions, whatever and wherever we dive into these next five, 10, and 15 years, we must always remember what we have been taught in this place and with these people. After all, we have had the privilege of learning in New Fairfield High School, an institution which is always looking ahead to the future in public education. In our time here alone, we have seen the adoption of a new block schedule, the construction of industrial hand dryers in the bathrooms, and the complete demise of law and order in the senior parking lot. In all seriousness, the work we have done and the lessons we have learned here will provide the framework for many of our future successes, and we are very lucky because of it. In fact, there is no reason why the young people in this room, and especially the class of 2012, cannot solve health care in this country, bring clean water to sub-Saharan Africa, reform public education, or the real elephant in the room, eliminate Justin Bieber, Apologies to my sisters. <laughs> like Odysseus, Columbus, and Oprah before us, we can make our own paths to greatness, forge our own identities. We can have amazing ideas too, like the people who invented democracy, penicillin, and the Snuggie. 
To be young is to have the courage to be optimistic, the endurance to stay excited, and the imagination to see the world not as it is, but as we would like it to be. Can somebody tweet that? <laughs> young people are sometimes naive. We sometimes make mistakes. But we will always be the most important demographic to the future well-being of this planet. A generation with a 21st century sensibility and the kind of eloquence to make an internet sensation out of the simple plea, here's my number, call me maybe. <laughs> so now we will be shipped off to college or wherever else the road takes us to discover and interact with this busy, buzzing world. Full of promise and blessed with opportunity, even we will stumble. Progress is always messy. Friendships sometimes fade. And standing up for what's right sometimes means standing alone. But because we have worked hard, we will succeed. And because the world cannot wait another generation, we must. To my class, what a beautiful experience it has been to know your friendship. If I may impose on you one last time, I offer five requests. Always live with integrity. Don't take yourselves too seriously. Read Shakespeare. Enjoy the simple pleasures. And to stay in touch. Thank you so much for all that you have given me. Congratulations, class of 2012.